Hello everyone, it's Magasan Fjord and today I will show you how to make a bootable USB flash device and in order to install the latest Windows uh, installation. So for that you will have to use the program that is called Power ISO and have USB cable and that's all. This is all what you have to have. Well, uh, first of all, this is a tutorial. I'll scroll it, zoom everything so that you can see. So, first of all, you have to download the, the application called Power ISO. So, you will be able to find it just uh, typing into Google like this and then download. So, Power ISO download, click on that and you're already there. So, and here are some versions, Power ISO 32-bit and also 64-bit. So, choose one of them and here we go. So, for my version is 64-bit and, uh, and this is the second time that I'm downloading, so there is no need to install that. But I can show you how it's done. Nothing hidden, very simple and um, shouldn't be any problem with that. So make sure that you don't. So double click on that and let's head in for tutorials. So here we go. There, there is very big frequently asked questions sector. Okay, so here are at installation. And just I agree, then click next, install, and uh, simply that's it. Okay, so here's extremely high, uh, a lot of information about that, but then I will just um, click on the bookmarked version as it will show very specific tutorial on how to set up Windows 10, 7 or any other Windows Vista from USB drive. So first of all make sure that this is completed. That's great. Okay, nothing should be ticked here. I mean just just random, okay? And here we go. We close that and it's already here. If we for example type in power is so it's here. So let's open that application and of course this is um not the pro version, this is trial version. Continue and register it. You can click either this or X. And the next step, you have to click on Tools and then search for Create Bootable USB Drive. And that's all. In order to use the function, you need to run Parisa as administrator. Do, do you want to continue? Of course. Click for yes, okay, and that's okay. We direct it back, so you see, and you see that it's automatically um, just uh, we got into creating bootable USB drive, and this is image file. So uh, in my case, this is like Windows 10 Pro x64 July. Um, <clears throat> the most downloadable version so far and you can find this mainly uh, Windows files you can find on Pirate Bay or any other torrent applications or of course you can just make ISO from legal one things <clears throat> so and this is the destination of USB drive <clears throat> but uh, I'm not I'm not using any USB drive now and if you would have uh, put if it would be sticked into the computer it would be automatically found and you would see everything also make sure to take USB HDD I also tried that uh, like I finished that I'll click start 
and it took me around okay it, this file weighs around 3.3 gigabyte and it took me around 40 yeah 40 minutes to finish that because remaining time at the first uh, moment it will show over three hours but then after like five or less minutes it will stabilize and will show you very accurate remaining time so um, and then it it looks like three um, like 40 minutes but of course it might depend on many factors such as USB flash drive uh, read speed write speed and also your computer performance so after you click start then there will be no errors just it will finish and you just uh, you will see here that it's completed so what I've done before but since I don't have flash now um, I cannot show you that so um, after everything is done I will give you a very short uh, instruction so as, as you can see that we started the power so insert the USB drive uh, and then chose tools create bootable USB drive and then click to open we open the ISO file and then uh, here's written select the correct USB drive from destination USB drive of course if you have uh, if the system finds more than one so of course it doesn't know the system doesn't know which one to select so but if only one is sticked into the computer there is no need to do that it will be found automatically so now choose the proper writing method which I explained before this is recommended USB HDD and click start button to start creating bootable USB drive uh, if no errors occurred in the above process you should now be all set up windows from USB drive and configuring the BIOS uh, well it, it's very dependable on each system of course <coughs> we will need to uh, reboot the system and while booting before windows starts loading get into the BIOS configuration screen by hitting something like F1, F2, delete or escape hotkey instructions are generally provided on the screen and uh, now go to the section that contains your boot devices with your USB drive plugged in the USB drive should be listed if it isn't your system might not be supported booting from USB well uh, I had not only like USB uh, selection choice or but it was also called like USB uh, USB HDD or something like that I also had like three type of names of USB but uh, I recommend you to use USB HDD if there is something like that and exit it from the BIOS configuration setting all changes so usually F10 makes that exits and saves changes and uh, of course now when you so booting and set up windows from usb drive so you just uh, put your usb flash usb drive into computer and then when it's restarted it will be automatically getting into the screen so there is no need to make any to click anything or just you have to wait until it will be booted up and um, uh, the loading sh isn't like for Windows 10 it's quite sh quite fast it loads very fast and there is no need to wait longer so um, and, uh, of course uh, there are some if for example assuming that you properly configured your BIOS and USB drive support booting Windows setup should now load. Depending on the speed of USB drive, this may take a while. Uh, if it isn't working, then double check the following before making a SAN. SIM. Is your BIOS properly configured for booting from the USB drive? Is the USB drive device listed and does it have top priority? 
So that's the, the most important thing that the first priority should be the USB drive and device. Have you correctly prepared the USB drive in step one? Restart the procedure. Does USB drive properly support being booted from? Try another one. So guys, this is mainly it and thanks for watching. I hope that you learned something and wishing you a good day. Bye bye.